So this is P890 handgun. Let's find out how exactly would it look with all the level 1 attachments. By that, what I mean is the first attachments, whatever comes. Let's put the slimline PRO laser. We would be putting the series 710 pistol. Barrel, we are not going to change it for now. We are going to go for suppressor attachment 1. So far, we have got 3 attachments. Trigger action will go with the Bruin MG80 trigger ammunition. Let's go with the 45 auto frangible, and that's it. At one time, you can only attach five attachments, so that's it. We'll try all simultaneously. I mean, we will go on a serial wise. Like right now, we have got the first scope, first laser, and the first muzzle, and the first trigger action. So once we are done with all four components, we would go and switch the other stuff as well, even even the ammo. So by that, what I mean is we have got five beginner components attached to it right now. We'll have a look at it, how exactly it is going to look. So here we are. Let's see out how does this weapon looks with all the attachments we have selected. So exactly this is how it looks. Right now, what I'm going to do is I will dump all the rounds the mag rounds and also I'll be checking out the last round animation does it have an accurate animation so let's go So the last round is chambered have a, let's have a look okay that looks clean so the mag is completely empty right now let's do the weapon check animation mag is clean the chamber looks clean so this is with the basic barrel and the uh, first scope we we have in our unlocked scopes the basic suppressor the first suppressor and the first laser and of course the first trigger mechanism we have in the in the in the game for the gun let's go and check out the second look of it now on a second glimpse we would go with sz mini and the fj fjx the Oz 70 we will not change the barrel again we will go for the second suppressor Trigger action second, XRX heavy V3 and the hollow point. Rest remains unattached. We will try this on the next, I know at the last. Let's go with all this secondary items of components. Alright, so for the third look, we are going to go with the Cronin Mini Red Dot. Laser, we will be going with the X10 Sidearm L400. Muzzle would be the FT Still Fire. Trigger Action, Bruin Express. Ammunition, Auto Armor Piercing. And that's all. Five components. And all of the five components have been selected. P890, this would be our third look. Let's inspect. Oh. So our all aim uh, of inspecting the weapon would remain the same. Checking out how the attachments looks when it's attached and just to check last round animation. At times I have found out that uh, even when you have cleared out all the mags, there is a round still chambered in the bolt. So you gotta check that. One in the magazine, one in the chambered. So yeah, there you go. One round. Weapon looks clean. Okay, no shell chambered in anymore. Let's go with the other look. This would be our fourth look laser. One MW pistol laser, muzzle, forge, DX90F. 
suppressor quick reaction for this it will be the p890 double action so for the trigger action and the ammunition this is the final look of it this is how it looks so we have got still we have got still uh, many variants for barrels we can try it out all till the end also the scopes has left only two so we'll only have two more looks with uh, scopes laser two more lasers barrel we haven't tried it yet rear cliff we haven't tried it yet magazine we have only got two variants so we'll try it out at the end so yeah this is the fourth look This is our fifth scope, fifth laser. Muzzle would be the fifth option. Trigger action, all we have selected in our fourth look, so we are not going to go with that. Ma ammunition is also done, so let's go with the mag, 10 round mag, and we would go with the rear grip at first. Bruin Anchor Grip, SZ Sigma 4 Optic, DZM 1000L, DZS Open Com, 10 round mag. This is our fifth look. So this one looks like there is a bug, I mean uh, the, the flashlight seems to be coming out at the back side of your hand, this is not good. There's a bug, yeah, in this one there's a bug, look at that, the flashlight is flashing in the back. So far this looks clean as well but there is only one issue the flashlight is glowing at the forehand of i mean backhand of your thumb which is not supposed to be happening i mean this needs a fix that's it let's go for another look sz mini mini tech 40 this is the last scope that we have got for p890 laser vortex f tech vortex 200 this is also the final laser sight we have got for p890 muzzle we are going to go with the slab 10 comb trigger action done ammunition done magazine we are going to select 12 round rear grief we'll go with fcx df60 grip there you go this is the sixth look let's try all this look uh even with this the issue remains the same there is a bug with the flashlight again i'm gonna recall which one is this Okay, so now uh, since we are done with all the scopes, we are going to remove all the scopes. Lasers we have tried out and we have found out that these two lasers seems to have some kind of bug when you use it on P890. I haven't tried with other handguns. We will try that as well. But so far since I'm trying on P890 itself, there is some kind of bug with this too. It gets flashed rather at the back side of your hand when you are you know, aiming the weapon. Right now we have left with even trigger action is done. So we're going to remove all the ammos, emanations are done. Magazine is also done. So now what we have got left is barrel. Muzzle in the barrel. I guess this is the next we are supposed to use. XR, XRK Venter 900. We will find out. So, barrel, we are going to go with the Matuzek Cotton Mount Barrel. 
Okay, so with the cotton mouth barrel, we cannot use muzzle, laser. So these two things are restricted with the cotton mouth barrel. So we just have to try out the barrel and we will go the changing the rear grip. We have tried this Bruin anchor grip on our fifth look or sixth look, I guess. So we are going to go with the FJX DVF60 grip. That's it. Okay, so this is how it looks with the cotton mouth barrel. Cotton mouth barrel and the grip changed grips. Clean. So barrel we are going to go with the Exarec Tech Ops barrel. It does allow us to attach laser with the Tech Ops barrel. Muzzle we are going to go with Comb 9095F pistol. That's it. Rear grip Bruin RSH80 grip. That's what we are going to get. Second, second barrel. And Okay, so here we do see a, a, a round that is still uh, inside. I mean, when we do the weapon check inspection, it shouldn't be there. The shell, the bullet's shell seems to be still st still in there. So that that doesn't look right. Let's go and check out the other one. Uzek Venom. So this. here as well, we are not allowed to use muzzle. It does allow as laser optic rear grip ammunition magazine trigger action changing to barrel uh third barrel that is matuzak venom you we, we, we wouldn't be able to use the muzzle so that's all we are going to give this is all a rear grip definitely bp green grip. changed grip and changed barrel mat looks clean so this one this one also looks clean but uh, it didn't have any sort of leftover uh, shells in the barrel gun looks clean let's go check out the other one akimbo p890 grip let's remove the mags so this one was done this is what we are going to go with barrel and extend harbinger so even this one even this barrel does not allow us to put a muzzle so we gotta we gotta be using only the barrel and the grip here why, why do i have why do i have dual and this one i don't know but this doesn't look good why is it a dual So in this one too, we do not see any shells still getting still chambered in the barrel. So it looks clean so far. So since we have created all the four types of barrel with the rest of the uh, P890s, we're going to just check out the barrels right now. This one was added, I guess. This one was also added. I think this could not be added. So we're going to add this here. basic barrel and just the muzzle 
So this one also looks clean. So at times even the gunsmith have a glitch that your gun wouldn't be visible here. Uh, that's another problem. So this was on the Bruin tripod. Oops, I guess. Now the only thing to mean is muzzle. Let's go Corva series B. Actually, let's try this laser again. If we still have the same kind of glitch. The last second laser has been selected here. Uh, yeah. So even without the scope, without the barrel, just with the basic components here, I only changed the muzzle. It still have that kind of glitch. B890. Flashlight glitch.